The new fourth-generation Nissan X-Trail isn't just a commendable effort, but a noticeably improved vehicle in every measure. It doesn't take all that long behind the wheel of the new generation Nissan X-Trail to realize the Japanese carmaker has thrown everything and the kitchen sink at this vehicle for a crack at the podium in one of our country's hottest selling segments. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last 21 years, you've undoubtedly heard of the Nissan X-Trail or there's a good chance you're one of 282,000 customers who bought one. Indeed, my younger brother drove a second-gen version for years and swore by it. Either way, whether you owned an original T30 Gen or the most recent, and kind of ugly T32 version, you may not immediately recognize the latest fourth-generation T33. Firstly, as a Nissan, and then as an X-Trail given its fresh approach to design, technology, packaging and materials, all of which have been leveled at this mid-size SUV from Japan. Like its smaller sibling, the new Qashqai, also about to drop here in Australia, the latest X-Trail is built on Nissan's latest CMFC platform that uses significantly more lightweight materials, yet delivers increased torsional stiffness for improved ride and handling characteristics. Most of the body panels are aluminium and there's more high-strength steel than ever before, while the suspension and steering have received noticeable upgrades that not only make this vehicle a far better driving experience but also delivers a greater towing capacity, 500 kilograms more than its predecessor. Inside, it's unrecognizable. Choose the higher grades and you get a cumulative 35.4 inches of big screen technology up front, including a 10.8 inch head-up display, the largest in-segment image size, Nissan tells us. Attention to detail is obvious here. Even the wipers are new splash-free versions, while connectivity includes wireless Apple CarPlay and charging along with both USB-A and USB-C charging ports, front and back. The look and feel is properly premium. Available with either 5 or 7 seats, and with 2 or all-wheel drive, it's already received a 5-star ANCAP safety rating across the range, thanks to a huge array of standard driver assist systems. Step up just one grade and you also get Nissan's Pro Pilot Suite with semi-autonomous driving capability. It still uses a naturally aspirated 2.5-liter four-cylinder petrol engine paired with a CVT transmission, exclusively, but it's been tweaked to deliver more power and torque along with quicker response and a new engine code. There's an e-power hybrid version coming in 2023 too, expected to make up at least 15% of total X-Trail sales, though we reckon it will notch up even more units given its performance and efficiency benefits, never mind the extra kit and class-leading active safety suite it packs. It's a thoughtful and more resolved design, inside and out, and one that should give the new Nissan better than a fighting chance against a host of big-selling rivals in the second-largest automotive segment in the country, at least that's what it's gunning for. You see Nissan Australia and its CEO Adam Patterson strongly believe the latest X-Trail has the goods to garner enough favor to see it climb back into the number 3 spot, which it once held, in the ultra-competitive medium SUV category. More encouraging still is the fact it's a class that's expected to grow by at least 14% over the next four years to the tune of 174,000 units per year. And frankly, it's off to a pretty healthy start if forward orders are any indication of future success. More than 2,500 customers have already placed orders on the 2023 X-Trail, and that's on top of the 1,700 orders for new Kosh K and more than 1,100 for new Pathfinder. How much does the Nissan X-Trail cost? There are four grades to choose from with the 2023 X-Trail, before the e-power hybrid joins the ranks early in 2023. In the meantime, the two base grades, SC and SCL, come as standard with front-wheel drive, 2WD, and 5 seats. Each has the option of all-wheel drive, AWD, and 7 seats for about $3,000 extra combined. There are no 7-seat, 2WD grades anymore. The flagship T and TL grades are all AWD by default, but only come with 5 seats. According to the Nissan product experts that decision is based on research and the needs of various target markets per grade. What is the Nissan X-Trail like on the inside? It's not the top spec, but the T we tested still gets a stack of fancy kit including more cutting-edge screen space than prestige models costing tens of thousands more. The 10.8-inch widescreen head-up display, biggest in segment, claims Nissan, is particularly impressive for its crystal-clear clarity and color, 
as is the large 12.3-inch central infotainment touchscreen display. The digital driver's display is the same supersize but lacks the sharpness and color reproduction of the other two screens. The leather upholstery is genuine and the seats are thickly cushioned and superbly comfortable for all shapes and sizes but with sufficient bolster to hold you steady through undulating terrain in regional Victoria. However, the TLS quilted Napa leather in tan looks and feels especially luxurious should you have the means to stretch the budget a few grand. There's no shout-out in the press kit for the leather-wrapped steering wheel, but I can tell you straight up, it's a standout flat-bottom unit wrapped in the softest hide and particularly tactile, much like the all-new shifter in that regard. Our T-Tester also had a tasteful soft-touch brown dash top with contrasting dark grey console. It looks good enough to be an optional item, but a quick check with Nissan PR reveals its standard across all variants. Thankfully, Nissan has sought to ratchet back the piano black in X-Trail in favor of a black faux timber, and again, it looks and feels like a quality finish. The same goes for the switchgear and plastics, they're smooth and tactile to the touch and a noticeable step up. We also like the fact that X-Trail still gets dials and knobs for the climate control and audio respectively in amongst the high-tech touchscreen, which just works better from an ergonomic sense when you're busy driving and watching the road ahead. There's stacks of space, too, both storage and passenger room and in both seat rows in our 5-seat tester, remembering you can also get 7 seats in your X-Trail and lower grades. Up front, the new style stubby shifter has freed up space for a wider-than-usual wireless charging pad and two completely unencumbered cup holders. The center console itself is a floating design and well-ordered with a new rotary drive selector that includes an off-road mode. Directly below is an out-of-view storage space for items like handbags or even a laptop, as well as a new butterfly-style console box, meaning rear seat passengers can also access. The overall packaging is thoughtful, with things like both USB-C and USB-A charging ports in both seat rows. I can't tell you how convenient that is in this transition period where carmakers are switching over to an all-USB-C configuration, 